Give yourself a mic to him. You may all be silly. Today we have some mighty people with us. Great men of God. And you will see the shine today. You always hear I talk about KFC pastor, right? Eh? He's here with us today. The mighty man of God, Prophet Esteen from the USA is here. Give him a mighty hand. Thank you, sir. I'll take myself out of the way. And you'll go into my little room, go lie down. It's a boy a boy, a man a man. Is it it? We are here for you. Just wave your hands. Let there be a mighty wave of glory. Let there be a mighty wave of glory. Let there be a mighty wave of glory. Come on, let there be a mighty wave of glory. Let there be a mighty wave. Let there be a mighty wave. Let there be a mighty wave. Just wave your hands in the presence of oh, hallelujah of the Lord. 
Amen. Praise God. I walk along today and we're going into the book of Genesis very quickly. Amen. I reside in New Jersey, born in this country, Jamaica. I'm from St. Anne. Amen. We started the work first in, in, in Mandeville. Amen. And we started with just a few. I remember back days, God is amazing. I remember back those days I have to drive, Prophet Roe and I, I have to be driving from Kingston into Mandeville to preach on Sunday morning, preach Sunday night, and back home into Kingston. And I'm indeed blessed to see growth. Somebody say growth. Come on, somebody say growth. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm accustomed to the Mandeville branch. It's my first time in the Lakeland branch, and I'm indeed honored. Amen. The mighty man of God is doing a wonderful work. Clap your hands one more time. Amen. Amen. He's doing an excellent job for the Lord. Genesis 21. I'm going to read from verse 9. Very quickly in your hearing. I want you to preach with me. Say, preach with the preacher. Amen. I don't want to come and give me no maybe and look. Just preach with the preacher. Amen. Amen. Genesis 21, verse 9 to verse 21. Amen. I'm a word man. I love to preach the word. I love to teach the word. You find it? Amen. amen. <laughs> the word of the Lord. And Sarah saw the son of Agar, the Egyptian, which she had born unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this one woman and her son, for the son of his man woman shall not be here with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the land and because of thy one woman. In all that Sarah had said unto thee, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And also of the son of the one woman will I make a nation, because he is thy seed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and took bread and bottle of water, and gave it unto Hagar, put it on her shoulder, and the child, and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bottle. And she cast the child on the one of the shrubs. Somebody say shrubs. And she went and sat her down over against him a good way off, as it were a bow shop. For she said, Let not me see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lift up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the land, and the angel of God called to Agar out of heaven and said unto her, What aileth thee, Agar? Fear not, for God had heard the voice of the land where he is. Verse 19. Let's do verse 18. Arise, lift up the land, and hold him in thine hand, for I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the land drink. Verse 20. And God was with the land, and he grew. And he dwelt in the wilderness and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Karen. And his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. He had a portion of the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are the message. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your anointing. We know, God, that your word is already anointed. So we ask you to anoint me afresh. Let self be slain, God, that you alone be seen and you alone be glorified. Bless the hearts of your people as they hear your word today. I pray for healing. I pray for deliverance. I pray for miracle. I pray, God, that they will not leave the way they came. They will leave delivered. They will leave blessed, prosperous, and victorious. Have your way, O oh God, as you preach to us today in no other name but the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't bury, don't bury me yet. Amen. That's my message today. Come on, talk to your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't bury me yet. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, church of God. Talk like you mean it. Neighbor, 
Don't bury me yet. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hi, 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 hi. My God. Hallelujah to God. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Uh, sometimes we have some people in our life, people of God, they are quick to bury you. Yes. Uh, am I talking to you? Yes. Uh, they are quick to bury you. As sickness comes, them start thinking of death. They are ready, hallelujah, to dig the grave and get a casket and come at your funeral, hallelujah, and weep and mourn. Ah, but you are a child of God, and I shall not die, but live and declare, oh hallelujah, the works of the Lord. Ah, turn to somebody and say, remember, don't bury me yet. And we Jamaican, we have a tendency to write off people. Am I talking to you? Ah, my God, it doesn't matter how life rough and tough. We love right our people, but we have a saying that, my God, one of them no call it dopey. Am I talking to you? Hallelujah, my God Almighty. One of them no call it what? Dopey. My God. Whoa, whoa. Hallelujah. All the Bible will praise God. All the Bible will say amen. Am I talking to the church? Woo. We have this tendency. Talk to me, man. Come on. We have this tendency to write off people. People have got through hardship and rough life. Ah, my God, are you write them off? But the God that you serve on the way to turn things around. Aye, aye, my God. Wow! Oh, hallelujah. Feel the Holy Ghost. Mm, the Holy Spirit is here. Hallelujah. Somebody show power. Somebody show power. The power of the living God is in the house. Let me take my time. The book of Genesis 21 is telling us a story about a man by the name of Abraham. Abraham and his wife Sarah. And they're here in the text, people of God. And the Bible says that God gave Abraham a prophetic word that out of his own loins shall come forth his seed. And Abraham recognized at the age of 75 he received the prophetic word. Ten years after the word that God gave unto him is not coming to pass. Yes. Hello, somebody. He's now 85 years of age. And here come his wife, Sarah. Said, since God is taking too long, let Abraham go into the bond woman and an Egyptian woman and pre-adventure she can bring forth that seed that God promised him. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God no lie concerning his promise. If God bless you, you must be blessed. And if God promised you a house, a house you must get. If God promised you a BMW, BMW you must get. Am I talking to you? Sarah says, honey, go into Agar. And Abraham, like some men, never questioned that. He just run and did according to the wife. Now they brought forth a child by the name of Agar. Somebody say Agar. And Agar now grew up to 14 years. At the age of 90 for Sarah, but at the age 
of 99 for Abraham, here comes the promise of God. Sometimes the prophecy come, we want it today and tomorrow. Let me tell you as a prophet, the prophecy will come when God's time is on it. It could be two years, three years, four years, when God says so, it shall be so. Sarah now recognize at the age of 90 she's pregnant. And Abraham at the age of 99. Now when Isaac was born, Sarah now said, oh, no sir. <laughs> And I believe Sarah must have some Jamaican blood in her sheep. Sarah said, cast out the bomb woman and her child now. My child born, Isaac born now. And I can't allow him to steal my child blessing. No, say so someone said eviction. Evict Agar and her son. And Abraham was grieved of God. And Agar went into the wilderness. Uh, Abraham was grieved and Abraham sat a bottle of water and, and bread and give it unto her. And she went into the wilderness. And while she was in the wilderness people of God, something happened. Uh, the Bible says that the water that she had finished and the bread that she got finished. Now you can imagine how the wilderness hot and burning sun at her. And she looked on her child and she recognized that death is coming. Death is coming. The Bible says that she went over a bow and shot her away. And she buried her son under the shrubs. And I talked to the church. Ah, uh, she said, I cannot see the death of my child. Oh, hallelujah. I cannot see the death of my child. So let me bury him here and let me walk all the way over there because I cannot imagine to see my child who have given birth is about to die. Ah, somebody said death is not the last say. And rock this thing up. And so now the Bible says that while she's doing this, here comes the angel of God. And when the angel came, people of God, the angel spoke to a God and said, fear not. Oh, hallelujah. Fear not. Somebody said, fear not. Ah, some of us be too fearful. Everything you're afraid. You can't even sleep in your house. You run come a prophet. Prophet, demon in your house. We can't sleep there. You can't stay there. I want to know if a demon by blood I have a demon by steel. Hi, 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 hi. If a demon appear rent, a demon appear mortgage, we must stand under the power of God to be fearful. So now, people of God, Hey God says, I cannot see the death of my child. I cannot allow to see the death of my child. Let me bury him. And the angel spoke to her. While the angel spoke to her, the Bible said that he opened her eyes. The Bible said he heard the cry of the land. My God. Nowhere in the text tell me that the land was crying. Oh, hallelujah. It was the woman, the mother was crying. The mother was crying. But God heard the cry of the mother of the child. Why? Because the child is on the covenant. Hallelujah. My God Almighty. Ah, I said the child is a covenant child. I, I, are you a covenant child? Ah, my God Almighty. If you honor Jesus, banner with your hand. I don't care who you are. As long as you honor Jesus, banner. My God Almighty. Ah, the child was on the covenant. Ah, so the Bible says that he heard 
the cry of the land and God intervened and the Bible said that her eyes were open God opened her eyes and when she looked in a desert what she saw she saw a well of water oh hallelujah I said the God that you serve he will work a miracle trust for you even in the desert oh hallelujah I said even in the desert he will work a miracle oh, open your eyes and look at the well lift your hand and say Lord open my eyes come on say Lord open my eyes let me see my well my well of blessings oh hallelujah my well of miracles my well of breakthrough my well of healing my God almighty my well of prosperity God open her eyes and she saw a well and the Bible says that she came the land to drink what am I saying as I rush my message all I'm saying this afternoon ah oh, no bury Ishmael yet Ishmael will not die but Ishmael must live and declare the works of the Lord and God anoint me today to tell each and every one of you you shall not die oh hallelujah no sickness gonna take you out no cancer gonna take you out no HIV no high blood pressure am I talking to the church I said none of these things will take you home you are a child of God and who God bless no man curse am I talking to you we have some people of put on curse but tell them that I am blessed when I preach and I feel like preaching I find the name as a neighbor prophet who are not most of them mad preach how many hallelujah to God come on I find the name as a neighbor I shall not die but live and be clear the works of the Lord and no man can curse you you are a God bless God bless you already look at them as a near the bond bless the bond bless so if you want to curse me don't bless already you can't curse me hi 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 yes sir yes sir may God bless hear me all the want me bless shut me all the want me bless talk me how you want me bless me wake up bless me lie down bless hallelujah every day of my life i am blessed if you catch me more let me bless if you catch me choose let me bless anyway you put me bless if you jam me down me let me bless if you jam me down more for me still bless i am blessed Bless. Stop it, that's a neighbor. Bless you, not run me down. I said, bless you, not run me bless. Every day, me bless. Every night, me bless. So, walk bless. Look bless. Drive bless. Talk bless. Let the devil know that you bless. You bless. If you bless, so I am blessed. I am blessed. So curse me, man, curse me. God bind me. I'm gonna still eat. I'm put on weight. I'm built up that devil. Hi, hi. My God Almighty. Somebody say preach, preach, I preach. Somebody say preach, preach, I preach. Yes, sir. So some people know why you live. Some people never know you make it 2023. Be it on hard and go And the whole yeah. And the voodoo. And she do. And he do. And they do. You're blessed. Sprinkle on the 
fall by your last drink. Me bless. Sprinkle your fall blood. Me bless. I am covered. I don't know why you live. They can't take you. They try to think to kill you. They beat me up. They put you down. You bounce right back. I am a hard man to kill. Hey! Hard man to kill. Hard man to kill. Why they can't kill me? I'm under the banner of Jesus Christ. I am a child of the living God. And who God bless, no man curse. Come here, David. David to the Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh? They will stumble, they will fall, go my bones, slim clump against me. My heart shall not fear. For one who runs up against me in this will I be confident. One thing of our desire of the Lord and that will I see after. But I'm a good. David says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. David says, He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, David said, Yea. David said, Yea. David said, Yea. Though I walk through silver sweeper, yea, though I walk through the fall blood, yea, though I walk through the powder, yea, though I walk through the barnyard, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, thou be fearest. A table that fool me in the presence of my enemy, the anointed, my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely, I said, surely, or the man that I'm at the time, surely, goodness. And mercy shall follow me all the days, not some days, not a few days. So we are worried yourself for, we are worried for. If goodness and mercy following you all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Somebody say forever. Forever. Thy word, O Lord, is settled in heaven. Am I talking to the church? Now let nobody speak negative words by your life. For death and life is in the power of your tongue. And every day we get up, poor me. Poor me, sir. Poor me. So bless me. Oh, poor me. If heaven be a time, oh, poor me, poor me. Poor me, my sister. Boy, may I tell you my life rough. You can't stay there. No time of a poor me. Say, Lord, bless me. I am living prosperous. 
already now go to say, I am blessed. If you don't have no money, me blessed. If you don't have no house, you're blessed. So I already don't have no house. What like you have house? Am I talking to you? If, if your house is on a hill behind some bush, the far behind God. You are blessed. Look up your head. You saw the prophet walk, walk like you. The man blessed. Am I talking to you? You saw the man walk? You will never, I know if he hears, you will never see my walk, sir. The man has not been done this up. The man has looked up. Walk like you're blessed. Talk like you're blessed. Dress like you're blessed. Live like you're blessed. Dance like you're blessed. Worship like you're blessed. Poor me. Me blood pressure. Me cancer. Me sugar diabetes. Me kidney problem. Me blood pressure. You still ain't clean it. I'm sent a fear attack it. Oh, for me. I'm a fear. We send it back to the pit of hell. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. Be careful what you say to your evil to your kids. Ah, don't cuss them out. I said, go and walk this boy. And go and walk this good girl. No! All of them bad night devil. They say, go and find yourself a liar, yo. Move and go and doctor, yo. Move and go and preacher, yo. Speak positive things about them. And as I close for the second time, when God promises you something, look out for it. When the prophet prophesied, as a verse said the Lord, look out for it, for it is coming to pass. I always say, thank God, God and a politician. I was a politician, so we can cuss them out. Me, only rest in, them know me. When we in politics, we promise us our land and everything. I'll care. Not me, them. I was a good one. Them, not me. No, I'm serious. He can't tell you I was a good one. They made the bad one, made the good one. When them promise you road and water, me, you ask me for road and water, I'm not have it. I said, I'm not have it. I'm going to talk to the minister, Mike Henry. At that time, he was the minister of transportation. I said, I'm not promise you no road. And they have the nerve to carry you up some hill, some bush. Expect you to give them water. When they carry me, they say, well, I'm the driver, well, I'm well, the Where we go? Not even donkey can pass this up. And they want light and water from me. The devil's a liar. I said, look here. Lisa, I know your MP, go talk to her. Me just coming up. Me can't promise you no house, no water. I said, when you brought me in, when I'm here, I can give you a house, water, land, anything you want. Ah, Jesus. What, what am I saying? Man will promise you anything but God. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody said, God. When God promises you a house, look out for your house. When God promises you a land, go look for your land. I don't know where prophet coming from. I know. You don't know where fire is coming from. 
man full of faith. Prophet Rome. Full of faith. That man full of faith. And I met him, I met him in Kingston. I said, Sir, what do you want? He said, I want a car. Car. I said, How much money? I don't have no money, but I need a car. Prophet Rome. And he got the car. Am I talking to you? Faith got him a car. So I don't know him a faith from a long time in my faith. And I watch him start with the Mitsubishi Lancer Gold. That was his first car. And he's jumped out of that and going to want gold. A card. Am I talking to you? And he jumped out of the gold. A card. And he got on our SUV. I said, The man fly God left me. And I know he fly God left me. I lift my heart to him. Man is blessed. He's blessed. He's blessed. And the same grace that is upon him is upon you. It's upon you. You see, start with him. Somebody worship him. Lift your hands, oh heart, lift your hands. Lift your hands for Jesus. Woo! My God Almighty. Come on, lift your hands, lift your hands. Lift your hands, lift your hands. If you need to move, lift your hands. Jesus. I lose you 
from destruction. I lose you from poverty. I lose you from curse. Every generational curse we set you free. In Jesus. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In Jesus, mighty name. Now walk with me. Walk with me. You're coming out of that. You're coming out of that. You're coming out of that. One more time. You're coming out of that. Come. By now and six months, your life will never be the same. Jesus. Good. Give God the glory. Come on, give the Lord glory. Give the Lord glory. Somebody give the Lord the glory. Come on, somebody worship. Somebody Never be.
Mm. Never be the same. Never be the same. I'm waiting the prophet up to the fall. So that spirit that is following you will no longer follow you. And everything that God has in store for you, you're going to get it. Because every time you reach at a specific part of your life to receive a blessing, it seems as if something does come and snatch that blessing away from you. But today, that spirit of sabotage, that spirit of sabotage is leaving you now in the name of Jesus. Go and be delivered. Go and be healed. Go and be victorious. In Jesus' mighty name, every spirit that is following you, we send it back to the pit of hell. Let the power of the Lord surround you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands. It's your name. It's over. God and picked you on your birthday. Go believe. It's over. It's over. Somebody give the Lord glory and praise. Somebody give the Lord glory and praise.
to send him back every blow in the name of Jesus. For you shall not die, but live. The same dead blow to you. You should not make it 2022. You should not make it 2023. Because based on what they did, they taught you have been buried. Somebody said, don't bury me yet. Come on, turn to him and say, neighbor, don't bury me yet. Don't bury me yet. Come on. Let not bury you. You come to the house of the living God. You're in the prophet domain. Hallelujah. And every demon, and every powers of hell, we're sending them back to the pit of hell. Let the fire of the living God fall. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your power, let your power, let your, let your power, let your power, let your power, let the fire, let the fire, let the fire, let the fire, let the fire of the living God. Fall upon her. Heal her body. Heal her body. I rebuke every dizziness. I rebuke every fatigued spirit. I rebuke every spirit of insomnia. And I rebuke every demonic powers of death that come to take you over a Jesus. Be healed, be delivered, be set free in Jesus' name. So much day, man. And you see, you will be Say thank you, Jesus. Come on, say thank you, Jesus. Remember, don't bury me here. Remember, don't bury me here. Hey, are you ready? Are you ready? Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Draw me. Presence. I'm running after you. Draw me, draw me, draw me to your presence, Lord God. Hey. Watch this cancer come out of your body. Draw me, Lord, to your presence. Watch diabetes go. Watch blindness go right now. Hey, tell him. Mighty, mighty, mighty power, mighty God. Draw me, Lord, draw me, Lord, draw me, Lord. Hey, hey. I'm running, I'm running. Just for a moment, just begin to tell him, Lord God. Can you draw me, Lord? Hey. I just gotta lay my hands on somebody because I feel like I need to try something out in you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace. 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 Hey. Thank you for your anointing, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your grace, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Draw me. for your anointing. Thank you for your blessing, Lord Jesus. Hey! Draw me, draw me.
much on me is when I have to just lay it on you. And when I do that, if sickness is in your body, it has to go. Because that's the anointing, that's the power of the prophetic house that we're in. But, but I, there's someone connected with You have to go back to court. And the money is not yet there, and you know the judge. I'm not sure whose nephew that is. But the person going back to court, and there's some money involved, and the money's not yet found, and that's you. Amen. And there are two other persons. Two other persons with a court case, and you have to get there. So I'm waiting for the other two persons. Where's the other person? somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, there's somebody else. Let me just do this, let me flow. My, my prophet is here, my daddy is here, so don't let me flow, please. You, you have that, there's more, when prophet is so much people, I've court. But there's anointing to break that today, you believe that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. That's your son? No, my stepson. Hi. My stepson. Stepson? Yes. Is it a course? Yes. Hallelujah. I'm dealing with those who are going back to court. I need to pay some money. And there are other things I deal with in the court, but that's what I'm dealing with now. Amen. You stand right here. Because somebody's supposed to receive some money in the court and you can't get it. Who's that? That's you. Right here in front of me. All right then. So my daddy there, you know, say, me walk and I talk to you, you know, so me and talk truth. He's supposed to get the money. It's not you alone, though. Somebody is struggling in the court to get your money. You can't get it. You're still in the court. I'm still over this side. So it's you. Stand up. Who else over this side? You. Stand up. Stand to your feet now. If I'm over here, then it's here. If I'm flowing, then I'm flowing, you know, man. Don't want to keep like I'm not flowing in the Lord. Come on now. Hallelujah. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Watch me now. Since I've met a son of the prophet, mighty prophet, man of God, when he said that there is nobody in with more faith who have a belief in the power than Prophet Roy the Rule. Like I said, a long time you know him, not like myself, anymore. but when he come on to believe. When you come on to the gifts of faith, there's none other on earth right now. There's no other prophet that I know. When you want a TV or any other network you want to talk about, there's no other prophet that has the gifts of faith to believe. My God. So I'll tell you what's going to happen in the court and you can come and testify. For those who are receiving, be receiving their money in the court, let's put up your hand. You are receiving in the court as well. That's why you're here, because you're in the court struggling to get your money. That's the case, you as well. And that's you too. Just so hold up your hand and those who need to receive from the court. Let me just release that onto you. Hallelujah. Sinak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now. I'm declaring over you <clears throat> that the next time you go to court, it will not be more than two, my, my words, one, three, three, one, two. That's the appearance in court. If I tell you the appearance, that's the time you're going to go back to court for your money. Not another day over that. You understand me? Not another day over that. What's happening to your back? Pain. You have, what's happening to your back? Pain in my back. Yes. You have a pain in your back? Yes. I, I, I sense pain in your back right there. Hallelujah. Onto your stomach. I'm going to 
you eat? What's your digestion? Okay. You're digesting. Yeah. What's that feeling in your stomach right here in your chest? What's, what's the kind I of pain? I guess I guess maybe I'm picking up my mom or my fiance yeah. having a heart problem. Right here? Yes. That's your mom and your aunt? And my fiance. Both of them? Having a heart problem. You come here strong with that. You come here strong with that. I can see the system, but I don't know. Jesus. Mighty God. Mighty God. Jesus. Yes, it's good. You hold on. Just healing. Just bring back the healing touch. Tell them. You will eat the olive oil. You'll get the only when you go back. And your mom will be healed by that. Do you understand? That is the power of the living God. Thank you, Lord. Right over you, you have the few weeks and your back right here that sends the pain every night in your back. That's your healing, that's your healing right there over you. In the mighty name of the most high God, thank you, Lord. That's your healing. Your money is restored. Go back to court and get your money. Your money is restored. Go back to court and get your money. What's your name? Pardon? What's your name? I see you eating in the sun. I see when you eat sometimes, swallowing is a little difficult. And right over into your stomach as well. What's that? What's that about? You too. You right here. Hallelujah. You for the prophet to come back. You get any money, go back. You'll be all right. You understand. God bless you. You get any money. It's okay. God bless you. You get any money. It's all right. It's okay. I'm telling you. God bless you. Does it mean? It's two of them. I can touch your knee and I can see that I can feel the pain that comes beside you. Jesus. Hallelujah. It's more than that. Thank you, Lord. When are you going to the doctor? All the time. All the time. Burn you? You did an operation. It's not a heal, but just put your hand in your stomach right here. Put up. We did the operation right here. Jesus. I sense that it's healed right now. You will receive your money. Fine, you will receive it. You will receive it. You will receive it for yourself. You will receive it. You have the money to pay. You have the money to pay to court? Yeah. You need the money to pay, not to receive. You need to pay some money in the court. That's it. Yeah. When you're going to court. I declare it again until you pocket that. I declare that he will have it. Yeah. Because you're in the prophetic house. Yeah. You understand that? Yeah. All right. So it's granted. Money is granted to you in the courts. Pull up your hand. Believe. Money is granted. And the court will be dismissed. The charge will be dismissed. You come and testify. It will be dismissed. Don't do that again. Stay far. Stay far from her. You understand me? Stay far. Stay far. Stay far. Mm. You're crying for somebody so much. I don't know why, but you're praying and you're crying all the time for a family member. Your daddy? What are you, what are you weeping? What are you crying about? What are you crying about? Your relationship. I see you crying, crying, crying. But it's all right. How could we tell you about the body? I can't tell you about the relationship. I see your tears, but listen to me now. I don't have a partner, but prophet of the partner and tell you. <laughs> Jesus. Won't you? I'm going to court for a long time now. Mm -hmm. but next week, Friday is the last day. Have the money? Receive it. Next week, Friday. My God. I've been clearing. As today is Wednesday. The money before no Wednesday and Friday, you will collect in court. Amen. You will collect in court. You will collect.
collecting quotes with the prophet. You understand me? Amen. Clap your hands, you want collecting quotes. You can go back to your seat, please. Let me know the One thing is I do for a release, my prophet. Hallelujah.
It's about three times prophet talked to me and said, you got to go, and I said, no. This means war. This means war. For the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me. If the devil send you, come tell him you walk upon God. I am God's representative. I am armed and dangerous. I am a dangerous weapon in the hand of God. Lord God Almighty. I see blood touching blood. I sense blood touching blood. I, Lord God. So I walk in this morning. God set my eyes upon you. I don't talk what God don't say. But I see a trap that is set for you. And you should not live past the end of this month. You're dead. And it's not strange you're planning to kill you. Somebody shall live. Somebody shall live. Somebody shall live. Your very friend plan to put a bullet to your head. to have you out. They don't plan to mask themselves. Because they want you to see that I am the one who did it. But you wouldn't live to tell the truth. There are so many things that are happening in your life You know, all innocent, you know. You're not all innocent. And a slick your slick. Make it a reach you already. But God. Two nights ago, at about 9.05 p.m., was to have been your last day here on earth. That very spot that you were. The plan was to come up and kill you. But I reverse it now. Your friend will come to you before the week out and tell you that they were planned to take for your one point. You think a lie, me and tell a drop dead. But you walk into this house and things has changed. Somebody show mercy. Somebody show mercy. Somebody show mercy. I reverse it and I pronounce blank bullets.
in the name of Jesus. Go to your seat and receive it now. His word. They can't kill you again. They can't kill you again. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. I'm coming down to the prophet can come.
You are baptized in blood. She is a blood man. He is a blood man, baptized in the blood. No problem, my son. No problem. You lose. So as you pull on weight, you lose it back. So there is a vampire spirit in you. Sucking blood from your body. It coming from a girl named Simone. Simone. I'm seeing a house. A house. And you walk in the house with this girl in bag walk. And I'm seeing Church Street. Yes. Bag walk. Yes. And you go in the house with this girl. But there is a girl also different from that girl that have HIV that you don't know about. Which I will not call her name on the video. But she's close to you. The girl that have little weight, she fat her belly, have little belly, and she twanga twanga, and she eat enough. You know which one I'm talking. seen her go in the house at bag walk at church street so you love woman right yes, a lot are just one a lot lot but you don't investigate them you just invest your time and you don't investigate them so you become an idiot yes. so the one with the HIV I call her to go about her business with immediate effect the big fat one you love that one? You love the, the, the one with the weights? Can you lift her up? You can lift her up, but you love her. I am in Church Street. And I'm, keep, I'm seeing you keeping a birthday party. Because I'm seeing January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So you keep the party in July. And I'm seeing gunman come and rob the party. So this July, the party that you're planning, you not keep it. You understand what topic you're saying. I'm seeing a 10 year visa, so you travel. Where's your passport? Go for the passport. Put it in your pocket. I'm seeing a woman get pregnant with a, a girl child, but I'm not seeing you where the child is. What happened to you? And what happened to the child? Did it disappear? So you tell her to do something. I should just do it. You very full, full too. Where is she now? She there. So every time you make she get that way, you tell her to go do things. Why well, you don't keep the children them so the children can make nice in the house. I'm walking in the house and I'm seeing two boy child and a girl child and they're making nice in the house. It's a sign that you make woman that with three children to you. Three children is walking up and down looking for the daddy. That you make the dash way. Why you do that? Three children. One could be lawyer, one doctor, one minister. And look at you now. You were born to multiply. Did you know that? Did you know? I removed the cross from the church place house where you are. And I command you to prosper. But no, you must multiply. Go and go to the road. Go. Go. There's a woman here. Your skin, your body just start to sew. Your body start to sew. Come let me, let me anoint you with that sore in your body. There's a certain part of your body does so, does so.
So you have to wear socks to corbetto. You love the Lord? Yes. How long are you serving God? About eight years. About eight years now. So you used to do outer road before you start to serve him. He was married. Raised a husband. He died. Oh my God. Oh he died. He died early. So what you do now? No, I don't know. Mm -mm. So you, you do not want nobody to know. You just want to live. You yeah, look, you not look. By the name of Delroy have a girlfriend by the name of Jennifer. Jennifer is trophy. And Jennifer caused this to happen to you. So the sewer keep on coming up, coming up, coming up. So they I remove Jennifer and I remove the sewer of your body. So you prosper. But your body starts to, to feel like it a rough scale body, like the, the frog body. I remove that from you. And they free you. Go home. So you start to see sore coming up. Where? And you don't know why. Can can we sit? You have one pants. So you have to cover up all. This ring. No, not your ring. Not take it off. Why you have it on? Who you buy it from? No, not do it. Put your ring still. So you put it on your married finger. <laughs> take it off your married finger. You're still on the market. <laughs> Make it free. Make, make the man them can see you and the market. <laughs> a married man used to be a ron you. A tall married man. Who is he now? In Ghana, Farid. But he used to have a Jezebel woman and she always search his phone and she find your picture in his phone. And that's why you have the foot. A man from Stony Hill called Ice. She go to, to sew your foot with your picture in the married man foot. The married man call you. No call you again. Don't worry, go home. You will happily marry now and I'll heal the foot. Go home. Come. What happened into you? All time nothing happened to you. You make woman mash you up. I'm going to a place in Runaway Bay. Runaway Bay have a man that wear a felt hat with your picture that he bury under a star up tree. And no matter what you do in life, you just live by handout. One, one coco. You never survive. No matter how you see the mighty things coming, it not touch you. I'm looking for an unfinished house. A two and a half bedroom unfinished house. Who building the property? <laughs> So you move from there. Because in their house, they bury your picture also into a Alex back room. 
So I removed the picture from the unfinished, the two and a half bedroom unfinished house from that place and I lose you from Runaway Bay. How much money you have to pay me? You don't have no money. Go home. You're free. You look stush. <laughs> Let go the money back. We bring you here. Your sister. Where you have this soul? Let me see you here. So you make the hair just a put sore in your head. What I eat that hair just up. It's not so, it's bad than G and it just no, gets dangerous. Four years now you have it in your head. <laughs> My God. Give me a football. So you have it for in your head. Me no see nobody walking on you. <laughs> Did you know that danger can cause sore in your head? Yes. Yes. And you not have no nobody in the for you. <laughs> Feel like somebody working on you? Who? Me? <laughs> me no. Nobody no working on you. Nobody no take your man from you. You need a man to rub your hair. We we'll make profit from it first. A man ever rub your hair before? Find somebody like Prophet to rub here. Here you go. Go home, no, no, do you. It's finished. Seem like they have it the wrong way. 
you want to put, put on little weight. You want to feel like you again. You want to look yourself in the mirror and say, that's me. But right now, it's not you. Move your hand from your mask. One hour after I take my hands off you, your whole life changed. One hour. The pictures that you're looking at right now is waste of time. The album needs to throw away and appear great blessings. New vision, new dreams, new lifestyle, new ideas, new accomplishment. As from the next hour, everything must be brand new. Do you understand me? You get it now? cover you with great power. I cover you with great power. I destroy the force that destroying you. I break the curse of poverty and then release you in wealth. Escort you from darkness to marvelous light and I command you to prosper. Prosper. Whatever appear, don't ever try that again. Go home now. bedroom house you want to live in? Four bedroom house. Do you want to marry first or you want the house first? You want the house first? Where is your mom now? Your mom is at home. But your mom need help. Yes. Holy for help. Yes. I command the power of God to bless you so you bless your mama. <laughs> I open your eyes to a 2020 vision. And every man that named Leroy that come around you, you must run them. Do you understand me? <laughs> so you know what I'm talking. Every man that named Leroy, especially when they born October, the 17th, 1971, you must run them. Go home now. Church. Look at me, son. 
there is a special person in this church praying for you and that's why I call you up because of you your family crying how much person come with you bring the person
person a grocery shop and I opened the shop as a semi-supermarket in the district. And I give it to you. You shall be a billionaire.
bring her back to her seat. Thank you.